Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Board on a Shelf. My name is Antonio, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game on my shelf called Feed the Kraken. Have you ever felt like sailing across the seas with your friends and family? Trapped in one ship surrounded by pirates, sailors, and cultists? Convincing them that you're a sailor, when you're actually a filthy little pirate who's joined a cult and wants to sacrifice everyone to Daddy Kraken? Yeah? Perfect. Well thanks to Feed the Kraken, we can do that. Feed the Kraken is a social deduction game, which means throughout the game you will be trying to figure out who's on your team, but more importantly, who's not. And just a quick note, this is not a how to play video, this is just an overview of the game so you can get an idea of what it is. Maybe you can send this to your friends and say, hey, you want to play this game? And they'll say yes, because spoiler alert, it's a good one. At the beginning of the game, players will be dealt a character card and a faction card, which will reveal what team you're on. The majority of you on the ship will be sailors, a few of you will be pirates, and more importantly, one of you will be the cult leader. A cult whose purpose is to have the ship, and everyone on board, sacrificed to the almighty Kraken God in the center of the sea. But see, the fun thing is, only you'll know who you are. I mean, sure, you can tell everyone that you're a good guy sailor, but that's what everyone's gonna say, you filthy little pirate. The ship will start at the bottom of the board, but as the game progresses, the ship will move up and up and up until eventually it reaches the finish line. Now there are effectively three different finish lines, and a different team will win depending on which finish line the boat crosses. The pirates and sailors are trying to get to opposite shores. The pirates here, and the sailors here. But notice this spot in the middle of them? That's the mouth of the Kraken. And if the boat ends up there, then it's dinner time, baby. And the cultists win the game, because everyone was eaten. Oh, and by the way, remember that one person who was selected as the cult leader at the beginning of the game? They can recruit people throughout the game. Tentacle style, baby. So that person you figured out at the beginning of the game was on your team might not be anymore. And you'll never know it. Because they definitely won't tell you. Each round of the game, you and your shipmates will be selecting a captain who gets this fancy box. And they will choose someone to be their lieutenant, as well as somebody to be their navigator. After the captain has chosen these two people, everyone will vote with these wooden little guns. And if there are enough guns in the vote, a mutiny has occurred. After a mutiny, the captain will go to the person who paid the most guns, and the process will repeat. They will choose a lieutenant, and a navigator, and another vote will occur. Until eventually, there isn't a mutiny. But why is this important? Well see, there's a deck of navigation cards which will determine the way the ship goes. The captain and the lieutenant will draw two cards from the top of the navigation deck, putting one of them in the discard pile, and one of them in the box. The navigator will then take this box with the two cards in it, shake it up, open it, and give it a little look-see. Now these two cards determine where the ship will move on the board. If a red card is chosen, it schmoozes on over to the pirate finish line. If it's a blue one, it goes to the sailor side. And if a yellow card is chosen, it just continues down the center line towards the mouth of the Kraken. From those two cards, the navigator chooses one to play and one to discard. The one the navigator chose to play is the direction the ship moves. But see, the fun starts when people start spinning up the truth a little bit. Take this for example. The captain, who's actually a sailor, draws two red cards. That sucks. Gotta choose one of the red cards to put in there. Puts it in, and slides it over to the lieutenant. The lieutenant, on the other hand, draws two cards. One's a red, and one's a blue. The lieutenant's a sailor. So they obviously take that blue card, throw it in the box, and toss the red one in the garbage. The navigator, who's a pirate, gets the box, shakes it up, looks at the two, and sees a red and a blue. So they see that red card as gold, they discard the blue one, and play a red one. That means the boat will move towards the pirate side, and after that, chaos. Everyone will ask the navigator, why did you play a red card? And the navigator will say something like, sorry everyone, I'm a sailor, but there was only two red cards in the box. Which yes, is a lie. The lieutenant who put the blue card in the box will say, that's a lie. I definitely put a blue card in that box, which means the captain must have put the red card in there, everyone. The captain is a pirate and I'm a sailor. And the captain will say, I did it because I had two guys. I drew two red cards, I just had to put one in there. I promise, I'm a sailor. Sure you did, you filthy little pirate. It's these sort of discussions that'll help you figure out who's on your team, or try to figure out who's lying about being on your team anyways. It's fantastic. If you've played Secret Hitler before, this all probably sounds pretty familiar to you, and that's because it's very similar to Secret Hitler, but the addition of the Kraken in the middle is just, because throughout the whole game, there's a cultist who's slowly recruiting people to be on their side. So as the sailors and pirates tug back and forth to try and get the boat to their side of the shore, the cultist is trying to get the boat right in the middle of them. So that tug of war actually works in the cult's favor. Which means most of the game, the cult will be trying to create a divide of power. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this overview of Feed the Kraken, a delightful social deduction game that has far more to explore than I just went over, but I hope this was enough to give you a general idea of what it's like. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you got a general idea of what Feed the Kraken is like, and tune in again for some other overviews. Thanks.